Hi, this is Jason Bogue, the editor of Media Bistro's publishing blog, Galley Cat. I'm here today for Media Bistro's video show, Media Beat. I'm here with our special guest, Johnny Temple, the founder of Akashic Books. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to have you on. Um, the thing that I love the most about Akashic is the backstory. You have one of the best backstories in publishing. Do you want to share that with our viewers? And uh, we'll go from there. I started, I backed my way um, into book publishing without really intending to. For about a decade, I was a professional rock and roll musician. I'm a bass, bass guitar player. So from about 1989 until around 2000 or 2001, I was a full-time rock and roll musician. In around 1995 or 1996, um, my band, Girls Against Boys, we were fortunate enough to be caught in a bidding war between all the major record labels, and we got a lucrative record deal. And I had always been a big uh, supporter of independent record labels, and I had always derived a lot of inspiration from working with independent record labels who sort of created a community or a family between their staff and the musicians that they worked with. And I had always wanted to do something similar, and so in 1996, when for the first time in my life I had some disposable income, I wanted to reinvest myself in independent culture. And so I started a small record label with a couple of friends. And then ab about a year later, we decided to venture into book publishing. We got the idea because Mark Sullivan, one of the two friends who I was starting the endeavor with, had an unpublished novel. It wasn't his novel that we started with, but the fact that he, he, he was himself a novelist put us in the frame of mind of starting a publishing company. And so we published a novel in 1997, which was well-reviewed. Um, and went into multiple printings. I was still a full-time musician at the time, spending six months of the year touring, so it was really a hobby. And then in 1998, we kept the hobby going and um, published another book. And after publishing about two or three books over the course of about three years, I started to get the publishing bug. Mm -hmm. And at the time, sort of getting a little burnt out on the music business. So around 2000, 2001, after we had published five or 10 books, I started to really make the transition out of music and turning Akashic into a full-time book publishing company. And now we publish about 25 to 30 books a year. Yeah, and, it, and it's quite a crowded slate. Um, what did that transition teach you? What did you, what, what do you think being a musician and working in another industry like that taught you as you came as a newbie to the publishing industry? It was strange to start a uh, book publishing company with no background whatsoever to go from not in the business to being a publisher was a, a strange thing to do. Of course, I've, I've read a lot and I'm well educated and all that kind of stuff, but I had, I had no publishing background. But looking back, I actually think that it was, it gave me a boost that I wouldn't have had I had a publishing background. For one thing, I was unburdened by uh, this morose attitude in book publishing that no one reads anymore, our business is in decline, all these kind of doomy, gloomy attitudes. I've never, fortunately, I've, I've never had that. I think a lot of what has inspired the way that we publish books at Akashic is this musical background. Playing in rock bands over the years, but one of the things that I saw was how immediately music kind of hit people. And it's much easier to get a reaction out of people from music Music hits people more directly and more viscerally than books tend to. Yet, I feel that the books that um, I'm publishing at Akashic are actually just as exciting and just as dynamic as the music I was playing. But it's, it's sort of a, it's a harder audience to work with. However, because I feel that the books are actually just as exciting, I, I've worked to try to um, give our publishing program the spirit of rock and roll not the books themselves our books do not they're not rock and roll books at all we publish mostly literary fiction but this vitality of independent music and of, of, of music and it, it was great to be in music because music is very well integrated into mainstream society whereas in book publishing a lot of people f you know feel like it's an elite art form which it really I, I, I don't think it is and I don't think it has to be and so it's it's trying to take that sort of mainstream acceptability that music has and and find ways to weave that into a, a, a publishing business. You know, we try to make it fun and, and, and we, we don't um, worry too much about how no one reads anymore. I think the burden is on us. We, we in the publishing business need to complain less about how no one reads and accept the fact that culture changes. This is a good thing. Pop culture evolves. In publishing, a lot of people seem to 
long for the good old days back when literature mattered and only straight white men got published. You know, and it, it's a good thing, it's a very good thing that our culture has moved on from those days in the 50s and 60s and that now there's a much greater diversity of voices that can be published. And so we needed to embrace cultural, cultural change, tech, technological change, etc. And it's, it's our mandate to keep up with the times and stop wishing that culture had stopped evolving 40 years ago. I think that's a very inspiring place to uh, wrap this portion of our interview up. Once again, we're here with Johnny Temple, the founder of Akashic Books. He'll be back tomorrow for another episode to talk to the authors in the audience. Once again, this is Media Beat, Media Bistro's video interview show.